what role do international organizations, such as the International Monetary Fund IMF, play in supporting Iraq's economic development and currency stabilization efforts, and how might their involvement influence the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar role of international organizations in Iraq's economic development and currency stabilization? International organizations, particularly the International Monetary Fund IMF, play a crucial role in supporting Iraq's economic development and currency stabilization efforts. As of November 1, 2024, the IMF and other institutions have been actively engaged in various initiatives aimed at fostering economic stability and sustainable growth in Iraq. IMF's Role in Economic Development Fiscal and Monetary Policy Advice The IMF provides extensive advice on fiscal and monetary policies to help Iraq manage its economy more effectively. The 2024 Article 4 consultation highlighted that while domestic stability has improved since the new government took office in October 2022, the large fiscal expansion has increased medium-term vulnerabilities to oil price volatility. Two, the IMF recommends a fiscal adjustment to stabilize debt over the medium term, focusing on controlling the public wage bill and increasing non-oil tax revenues. Economic Diversification One of the key recommendations from the IMF is the need for Iraq to diversify its economy away from its heavy dependence on oil. Over the last decade, oil revenues have accounted for more than 99% of exports, 85% of the government's budget, and 42% of gross domestic product GDP. One the IMF emphasizes that private sector development and economic diversification are crucial for long-term external sustainability and private job creation. Two Structural Reforms The IMF has been advocating for structural reforms to enhance economic efficiency and resilience. These reforms include labor market reforms, modernization of the financial sector, and restructuring of state-owned banks, pension, and electricity sectors. Three such reforms are essential for fostering a more dynamic and competitive private sector. IMF's Role in Currency Stabilization Fiscal and External Accounts The IMF has been closely monitoring Iraq's fiscal and external accounts. The large fiscal expansion, while boosting growth in 2024, has also worsened imbalances due to lower oil prices. Two, the IMF's advice on fiscal policy is aimed at ensuring that these imbalances do not lead to a deterioration in the country's external stability. Currency Revaluation The IMF has supported the Central Bank of Iraq CBI in managing the exchange rate. The currency revaluation in February 2023, which helped reduce domestic inflation, was a step in the right direction. For however, the IMF continues to emphasize the need for a stable and predictable exchange rate regime to support economic growth and stability. Impact on the Iraqi Dinar Revaluation Prospects the involvement of the IMF and other international organizations in Iraq's economic and currency stabilization efforts can significantly influence the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. The IMF's recommendations for fiscal adjustment, economic diversification, and structural reforms are designed to create a more stable and sustainable economic environment. If these recommendations are implemented effectively, they can enhance the dinar's value and stability over the medium to long term. Policy Implementation The success of these efforts depends on the Iraqi government's commitment to implementing the recommended policies. The IMF's ongoing engagement, including regular consultations and technical assistance, provides a framework for monitoring and supporting these reforms. The 2025 Budget as part of a multi-year financial plan, is a critical step in this direction, but sustained efforts are required to address the underlying economic challenges and ensure the dinar's revaluation. Visual Analysis Fiscal and External Accounts A line chart can help visualize the fiscal and external account trends, 
highlighting the impact of the large fiscal expansion and the need for policy adjustments.